All right, on this lesson, we're going to be working with the cosine function. And once again, we'll consider the unit circle when we graph this. On the unit circle, we have specific points 1, 0, 0, 1, negative 1, 0, 0, negative 1. And we know that this is a 0 pi, pi halves pi, and 3 halves pi. Now once again, these lessons are assuming that you are in class and um, it is more just to get the basics of it, not necessarily to explain where these angles are coming from. We should have that by now. Um, let's see. All right, cosine of theta is defined as x over r. r is 1, so we know it's just going to be the x value. So at these angles, those are going to be I, why this one right here. So we're going to go ahead and sketch it. All right. So when the angle is 0, the x value is a 1. So we're going to call that one 1, and we're going to call this one negative 1. So when the angle is 0, the function goes up to 1. So when theta is 0, sine theta is 1. When theta is pi halves, why am I talking about sine, cosine? Cosine theta is what pi halves the x value is 0. So at pi halves, the function is going to go through the x-axis. Well, what about when theta is pi? The cosine of pi is negative 1. So when we get to the angle pi, the function is going to be down here at negative 1. And when theta is 3 halves pi, the cosine of this angle happens to be 0. So at 3 halves pi, we're up to 0. And when theta is 2 pi, the cosine is 1. And when we sketch this, it's going to look something like this very sinusoidal and it's going to repeat itself over and over again but as you can see it looks like the sine curve but it starts at a different place this one starts at the maximum and it's got the same features of the sine you know a full cycle of the wave from peak to peak it's going to be the period it's got the same period of 2 pi it's got the same amplitude of 1 and it crosses at the same points, but the y values are different. So theta is 0, we're at 1. At pi halves, we're at 0. At pi, we're at negative 1. At 3 halves pi, 0. And at 2 pi, we're at 1. So I'd be expecting you to remember this information. Now let's go through the characteristics or things you should know about the cosine curve. Your domain is going to go from negative infinity to positive infinity. Your range is going to go from negative 1 to 1. It's supposed to be a bracket. Your x-intercept, where does it cross the x-axis? Well, it crosses the x-axis when x is pi halves, when x is 3 halves pi. That's when y equals 0 y-intercept, where does it cross the y-axis? Well, when x is 0, y is 1. That's where it crosses the y-axis. It is continuous. There are no breaks on this function from negative infinity to positive infinity on the entire domain. Um, in terms of symmetry, this function is even, which means you can reflect it on the y-axis and you get the same thing. Mathematically this means that the cosine of a negative angle is equal to the cosine of the positive angle. So you can reflect it on the y-axis. Maximums. The maximum occur, we have several, when x is equal to 0 and when x is equal to 2 pi and every 2 pi after that y is going to be 1. The minimum is going to occur when x is equal to pi, and you only have one minimum within a period. 
end behavior. Well, guess what? The limit and behavior. The limit does not exist. Basically, this means that this function oscillates forever. It never really approaches a value. So, in terms of oscillation, what are the values that it oscillates between? Well, it oscillates between negative 1 and 1. Alright, so if I were to expect you to sketch the cosine curve very quickly, I'd expect you to do this. Make your x and y axis. Start at 0. Pi halves. Pi. 3 halves pi. 2 pi. I expect you that it Ooh, it doesn't start at zero, 0, it starts at 1. So I expect you to label that 1, I expect you to label this one negative 1, it starts at 1, crosses the x-axis, it hits a minimum x-axis, and then it hits a maximum. So I would expect you to draw your cosine curve very quickly like that. And once again, I expect you to have these intersection points memorize. I'd expect you to know that the amplitude of the basic cosine curve is 1 and that the period is 2 pi. Thank you.